What's up guys? So I recently saw a video from Jay's Two Cents where he put in a five inch LCD screen into his PC. I'll definitely link that below. Um, and I wanted to give it a shot in the NZXT H710. I mean, it's the perfect case for that type of mod. It has the nice big power supply shroud and it also has uh, the wire, the cable management uh, divider inside the case that can easily hide those cables uh, when you're running them to the screen. There's no real, for me at least, there was no need to mod the case whatsoever. Uh, just running the wires in the right gaps to get it to the screen and a nice 3D printed shell for the LCD. Uh, so it was the perfect mod for the case. Get all of the PC hardware stats, temperatures, uh, CPU usage, GPU usage, uh, clock speed, all of that on to the PC so that it's always there, just pretty much running a third Windows monitor and just always having the sensor panel located on that. So in order to do that, we used Ida64 Extreme and the sensor panel uh, feature that comes with Ida64 that allows you to get a custom hardware monitoring panel. Uh, you can put on there whatever you want, whatever Ida64 has access to in terms of temperatures, overall system hardware, anything that Ida gets, uh, you can also display on your LCD screen. So I'm gonna jump into Ida64 and actually explain to you guys exactly what I set up, how to set it up, uh, some, some tips and tricks on how to get exactly what you want displayed on your LCD. And once we do that, I'll show you guys exactly how I placed the LCD, how I got the wires run and all of that good stuff. So you can do the exact same thing to your NZXT H710. So once you get Ida64 downloaded and installed, uh, you will have to get a license to use the full features that sensor panel comes with. But what you're gonna do is just go into your hardware monitoring settings under file and preferences. And then under there, you'll see a section called sensor panel. So you're going to want to enable content menu, lock the panel size at whatever your screen size is. So for me, it's 800 by 400. And then you're just gonna click show sensor panel and hit apply. Uh, everything from here is pretty simple. You can of course change the color of uh, of the background for your sensor panel. You can use blue, white, black, anything you want. You can even set it as an image. So you can bring in an image to this, um, not in this part, but we will get to that. So you can bring in an image and make that the background as well. And this thing can travel wherever you want. So eventually once we have the LCD screen in, all we're gonna do is drag it over to that screen, make it full size and it will always show up. So you're also going to wanna go into preferences and then general and make sure that ID64 is starting at startup. If you want it minimized to the system tray, you can do that as well. But at this point, let's get into the actual building of our sensor panel, get all of our different visualizations onto this screen that we're setting up. I'll show you guys how to do that. So be sure to just stay tuned. So I am going to speed this up quite a bit, but you should still be able to see all of the mouse clicks and everything like that and exactly what you would need to, to change or set up when getting your sensor panel the way you want it.
And there we have it. I got the LCD installed into the case. If you guys want the exact same LCD that I installed into this, I'll have that linked in the description below. And what's really nice about this particular monitor is that you get your HDMI and your power both on this side of the screen, which is perfect. It's also touch screen, as you can see, so it activates when I do touch it, but not using that uh, for this particular build in terms of the functionality. But you can only see a little bit of wire inside this case as to what's actually powering this, uh, this screen. So we have our USB, our micro USB for the power and our HDMI cable both running. Hopefully you guys can see this through that little hole in the case down there at the bottom. So that is actually like a hole for the, the foot of the H710 as you can see right here. Um, so we ran the wires both through that. So you're gonna have to get a small enough head on an HDMI to fit through that. It just runs right underneath the case, out the back underneath and plugs in to our GPU into one of the USB, uh, USB 2 headers on the motherboard. And then I ended up designing a nice 3D printed shroud for the surround of the screen and it, Printed in black fits in pretty nicely with the overall aesthetic of the case. Got it to butt up right against the actual um, cable management divider there, and it looks perfect. I mean, you could always make the design a little bit better. So as you can see, like my 3D print ends here and the case ends here. So if I wanted to, I could probably match those up, give it maybe a little bit of a curve so that it fits into the case a little bit more. But I'm gonna download this 3D print or upload it onto Thingiverse, and hopefully you guys can use it if you want to. Otherwise, feel free to design your own shrouds. But I think it looks great, and you get all the information you want, and it's always there. You don't have to open up NZXT Cam or whatever other software you use to monitor your PC. It's always there. It's always on. You're playing a game. You can see your FPS always on that screen, which is super, super nice. And then when we bring it out to the full PC, it doesn't detract from the case at all. The look is perfect. It blends right in and it gives you, of course, that added bit of functionality. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about maybe a nice mod that you would want to do to your own PC, especially if you have the H710. It's super easy, fits right into the build. The screen literally just tucks behind uh, where the glass actually meets up on this case. It's super quick, super easy, no physical modding of the case required at all. So if you have any questions, any comments about the process, definitely leave those in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you get more awesome videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.